trade is developing as good as it is already for many years, very stable, uh, very much in line with the previous years. In the previous years we always had something around 36, 37, 38 billion euros of bilateral trade between Germany and Turkey and uh, the trade also this year is uh, with a particular um, positive development on the export side from Turkey into Germany is developing nicely. Well, f first of all, the most important factor for any investment is that you are getting a good return. So, and Turkey is an emerging market, it's a promising emerging market, so the return is above average, above the average that you are normally expecting from different types of um, countries, um, more, um, let's say, um, industrialized countries, uh, and here the return is, is much higher and uh, more positive. And what you are expecting to harvest this type of return is of course that you require stability. Stability both economically and also that the overall environment and legal framework and uh, legal stability is given for these types of investments. I believe it is possible if you are a little bit more realistic on what type of target you are trying to achieve. If you are trying to eliminate the existing non-tariff barriers of the existing customs union, which is, in my understanding, already an upgrade, then yes, it is very much likely that you can eliminate them and to create further economic welfare. If you are thinking about further adding other sectors, it might be possible if you are coming to an agreement what to start first. Maybe those sectors where both the Turkey and the European Union are of similar competitiveness levels. There it makes a lot of sense. If you are trying to bring together sectors that are relatively uneven and imbalanced in terms of competitiveness and complexity and compatibility, then I have my doubts that this will work. But with non-tariff barriers, yes. And with things that are obvious for an upgrade, yes as well.